We continue looking at the big business of data, some even calling data the new oil as its role as a commodity and much needed. Joining us right now is Hewlett Packard Enterprise President and CEO, Antonio Neri. Antonio, it's great to have you on the program. Thanks for having me. Thanks so me. much for joining us. So what's your take in terms of the need for data and the demand that you're seeing right now? Well, we live in an incredible time. You know, every business has been disrupted by the digital transformation. And at the core of that transformation is the explosion of the data we are creating. And you just made a comment, right? Data is the new oil. We call data is the new currency. And that data has value. And enterprises are looking to extract that value much faster than ever before because people who can get inside faster will, will, will win. So we see that as a massive opportunity. You know, this is so important for big companies as well as individuals. So here we are in Davos this week talking a lot about the potential for a slowdown in the economy. Are businesses sitting on cash or are they still investing in services like data uh, mining? Well, we're coming out of uh, 2018, which was very strong. You know, we saw an increase in spend in IT, uh, driven in, in security. In, in more compute capacity as well as storage capacity around this data. But also we see the spend moving in different directions, like for example, new technologies like AI and machine learning to extract the value of the data. So we see good momentum. Obviously we see a little bit of signals, a little bit of slowdown, but there were other people before me that made the same comments. You know, a little bit of slowdown doesn't mean everything's gonna stop. Actually still very, very strong. But you see business in people doing what in terms of putting money to yeah. work? Yeah, you know, deploying new architectures like cloud mobility we live in a mobile first approach you know digitizing their enterprises making their enterprises much more efficient with these new technologies and uh, and then basically moving faster than ever before so we we actually very very optimistic about the future and like uh, I was telling you earlier you know that data uh, will continue to outpace the compute power which means you know they will continue to be spent in catching up with that need to process all that data real time how does 5g change things we're waiting on 5g and then I guess is going to spur a whole new investment buy. Well, there's going to be obviously the big investment in the telecommunication space to, you know, to lay all this infrastructure. But 5G actually favors the movement of data, which means you know it actually is going to accelerate this transition and the dig digital transformation of every industry. Last year at this event, we talked about the industrial revolution 4.0. Right. 5G will enable that because everything will be connected, everything will ingest data, and everything will process data. It's going to be fast. Morgan Stanley recently had a report out with a report on Hewlett Packard Enterprise stock and uh, and the stock did uh, get impacted. They downgraded it, pointing to the company's uh, exposure to the slowing server and storage market. Your reaction? Me, you know, we obviously respect every opinion, but I, I don't I don't agree with that negativity ar around, you know, the industry, because that report was about the industry, and every every company that was part of that report was downgraded. But actually, we are very optimistic about the future of spending and the transformation of the business using these new technologies. So, um, you know, we think we are, we are we were well positioned for the future, and I think we have the portfolio to compete and win. Well, you're certainly in the sweet spot of what's going on in the world today. Antonio, it's great to have you on the program. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for joining us. Antonio Neri there, Hewlett Packard Enterprises.